Hey guys, I'm back and I decided to do a Reddit type video where I read some questions, scenarios from different subreddits and then kind of let you know my take on it, read other people's takes on it. I don't know. I like reading Reddit. They have interesting stuff on there. So this one's from the relationship advice. Sometimes I do am I the asshole um, relationship advice just different forums whatever but this one is the title is my boyfriend 22 male told me 21 female that he got his scars because his ex attacked him that's the title we have been dating for six months I've noticed a small scar on his arm I thought he got in a fight or something but last time after we had sex I was tracing it with my finger he joked about how he got it and I asked him to explain and he told me his ex was a psycho and hurt him when she was angry and she got really angry one time and gave him the scar. I don't know why, but it has changed the way I look at him. He is such a laid back guy and always so calm. I don't understand how someone could do that. I don't understand how he would let someone hurt him. He towers over me. Something about this scares me. I just want to forget this, but I can't. We haven't met since, and I keep thinking about it, and I don't know what to do. So, the TLDR. My boyfriend told me his ex attacked him, and he is, make, and is making me look at him differently, and I don't know what to do here. Okay. It bothers me that she says she looks at him differently, and... How could he let her hurt him? Um, people that are being abused, they they can't tell their abuser, I don't know why I'm letting you hurt me, or yeah, I'm just letting you hurt me. It's so much more complicated. I don't know, something about that, it just seems really immature and just gross. Um, my husband, he was attacked by his ex. He has scars, she ruined property, she ruined, it just, it upsets me. When he finally told me about all that stuff, it really upset me because like this guy, he is so calm, so laid back, and he's just the sweetest guy. And it doesn't matter if someone towers over you or not, it just, anyone, it just shows that anyone can be abused. And it makes me really sad. For her boyfriend um there's an update to this but first let me read some of the um feedback someone said quote i don't understand how we would let someone hurt him the fuck is wrong with you how are you making this all about yourself your ex was hurt by a partner and now it's changed the way you look at him and you don't know what to do stop being a victim blaming asshole that's what you do yeah Someone, congrats, he doesn't beat women. He didn't let someone hurt him. Someone he cared about at the time violently attacked him. Would you be more comfortable if he had hurt her back? Good point. He's a domestic abuse victim, and you're judging him and less of him for it? Someone, you sound like the kind of person who blames a rape victim for being raped. Your boyfriend deserves better. Yeah, and I agree. It's it's just something about that's really off-putting. And then here's the update. My initial thoughts were horrible, and you guys dragged me for it. But I have read up on it and read some accounts of male domestic violence victims, and yeah, I was being victim blamey, piece of shit, and I needed to be straight. I was also really worried about if my feelings for him had changed and I was thinking about it all day and then I saw him and yeah I wanted to just wrap him up in a blanket burrito and hold him there. He's such a fluff ball and I can't b believe anyone would want to harm him and that is just in fact a scary thought. Someone harmed him of all people. What the fuck? He is the kindest and most considerate person I have met. I'm going to spend time learning and thinking about it so that when he is ready to open up more, I will know what to do and can process my feelings without making his trauma about me. TLDR, I fucked up and I'm working on correcting it. 
Okay, some of the responses from the updated one are, I'm glad you recognized your initial reaction wasn't the best. I applaud you for taking steps to address it and handle it in the best possible way. I wish you guys the best. And someone said, yeah, I'm new here and read the original. Just wanted to say that OP, your behavior in the last thread was the most repulsive and disgusting shit I've seen on this sub. Your post here suggests you might be trying to fix this about yourself, and I hope you do, but goddamn, dude, I need to go throw up after reading it. And someone else said, what kind of comments did she make? She deleted them. Someone else, I'm also curious, the original post and comments appear to be heavily edited. Someone else, yep, I can't even see Opie's comments, must have deleted them. Anyone remember what she said? And then someone said, she said she mu he must have done something to deserve getting attacked by his ex. And that, and said that she wasn't sure she could still have feelings for him knowing he did something like that. Very gross way of thinking. Okay, just because a domestic abuse victim is a man doesn't mean he did anything to deserve this. If that's what she's insinuating, that's really gross. You, it doesn't matter your sex, you can still be a victim and be not at fault at all. So, I don't know, that one made me feel really icky. I don't know. It's like educate yourself and know that not just women are domestic abuse abuse victims. I don't know. Okay, this one's kind of funny, lighthearted, kind of. Let's see. Am I the asshole for reading at home with my husband? I enjoy reading books, but my husband feels that it is rude for me to read. We are both home because I am ignoring him. To be clear, this does not happen in excess by anyone's definition. I've read a maximum of five entire books since we got together a decade ago, primarily to avoid upsetting him. We have very similar work schedules. Recently, I bought a book that was the first in a series of three, and it stirred this argument to a higher degree than usual because of the fact that it is a series. I've considered going to a cafe and reading in my car, but that seems like a waste of gas when I could just be reading at home where it's more comfortable anyway. But doing so requires that I tell him I'm about to start reading in the study, bedroom, etc. And that I expect not to be interrupted for the next 30 minutes, hour. Which is what I intend to do if the results here favor me. Though this will absolutely upset him because he approaches me for a comment or to tell stories every 10-15 minutes on average. So am I the asshole? No. <laughs> it's like, if my husband... I read a lot. Well, I did before kids. I'm trying to read more. I listen to tons of books on Audible. And no way does my husband make me feel like that. Or... <laughs> no. It, it just... I don't know. It sounds kind of ridiculous. Um, when my husband and I first got together, we both read at night before bedtime because he had, he was going through stuff that caused extra anxiety. And I told him what helps me with anxiety is reading before bed. So when I'm, you know, done with my book and I'm laying there trying to fall asleep, I'm thinking of the book and not my problems. And he started liking reading. So I actually got him kind of into a bookworm. And he had the time. So, <laughs> some of the responses. Your husband sounds like a piece of work. Read when you want. No announcement needed. Put your butts in. Say they're for white noise, not the asshole. I agree. Let's see. My ex was the same. He liked watching UFC. And if I wasn't sitting there watching with him, he would get mad and not watch it himself. So glad he's out of my life. I know it's easy for easy to be all just sleep, but OP should seriously consider leaving. I wonder what other things she does for her me time that he steps all over. I agree, if he's all like this about reading, when she's literally like right next to him on the couch, I wonder what other things he's making her feel guilty about or saying, I don't know, trying to get her not to do. I don't know. 
I can see definitely where they're coming from. And let's see. I think I'm just going to try these two out for now. If you guys like the whole Reddit forums, subreddits reading, let me know because I'd be happy to make more, read more. I don't know. I just, I love hearing Reddit stories and then people's take on them and I don't know. It's just entertaining, but I don't have time to really sit there on the app and like scroll through and read things. So when I get a chance, I definitely like to do that. So if you guys like it, give me a thumbs up, let me know. And let me know what you guys think of these situations as well. Like, do you agree with the OP, the original poster, or what? So anyway, guys, I hope all is well with you. And I can hear Jordan. He's supposed to be taking a nap, but he's not. So anyway, hope all is well with you guys. And as always, don't be an asshole. Bye.